what's up guys snake here back with another video and this is road to stickman part two do i get the stickman i don't know you have to wait till the end to find out but in the video i actually want to talk about a movie that has recently came out and i'm sure everyone has watched it because if you haven't then you suck and you you are i don't know why you're still living but uh yeah the Dark Knight Rises. I have watched it twice in theaters already, and I know ooh, you're a fucking nerd. Shut, shut the fuck up. It was, it was an amazing movie, all right. So, yeah, let's get it started with the movie. Kind of like review, but yeah. If you haven't watched Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, I recommend watching it before you watch Dark Knight Rises, because there are some parts, especially from Batman Begins, that you have to like you have to know to catch in Dark Knight Rises and uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything but yeah some people do make returns and I'll just leave it at that but the movie itself oh my god like it was insane like starting the starting scene uh, I think it's already on YouTube or it was on YouTube for a while the plane scene where uh, Bane like kidnaps the Russian professor from the uh, on the plane was just insane like that that scene alone like the cinematics like the plane the s wings of the plane falling off and shit it was amazing like Christopher Nolan is the best like he is the absolute best and uh brain fart I, I just blanked out right there what the heck I'm just staring at the gameplay and I don't, I don't even know what to tell look at that shot nice but yeah um, let's, uh, let me talk about Bane for a little bit cuz Bane uh, if you guys didn't know I, I'll try to find an article and link it but the original villain for the Dark Knight Rises was supposed to be Riddler and it was supposed to be played by Leonardo DiCaprio Yes, Leonardo DiCaprio as literal J Riddler. Just imagine how amazing that would have been. Uh, but it was Tom Hardy as Bane. But I like Bane. Don't get me wrong. Bane was really good in the movie. But I don't know. I, j I just keep thinking of how, like, how much more epic it would have been to see Leo, Christian Bale, in a Christopher Nolan movie together. Just, just think of the, think, think about that. But uh. Yeah, the story of the mo the story, the plot is just so good. I mean, uh, the there's so many like what the fuck moments. It's just insane, and they actually brought a lot of stuff from like the old comics back. Like in the old comics, Bane like Bane breaks Bruce Wayne's back, and they actually did it in The Dark Knight Rises, which was pretty cool to see, and. There are just some characters like that pop up. I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it at that. For people that watch the movie, there's some characters that like. If you go to a theater like I do, everyone's gonna cheer when they find out who that certain person is. Like, it's like the ending. The the whole movie is amazing. The action is amazing, but the last like, ten minutes of the movie is so good. It's ridiculous. Like. I could watch that last 10 minutes like 50 times straight and I won't be bored. That's how amazing it is. It's insane. Uh, yeah, just if you haven't watched the movie already, go watch it right now. It's And I really suggest wa watch the f watch the trilogy. The, well, don't don't just watch it if you haven't watched the first two. Watch the first two then go cuz one of my friends, he doesn't like Batman, so he he didn't watch Batman Begins or Dark Knight, and we we just we always make fun of him. Like, you faggot, why haven't you watched The Dark Knight, the greatest superhero movie ever? And now he's like, oh, I want to watch The Dark Knight Rises. We're like, shut the fuck up! You have to watch Dark Knight first. You have to watch Batman Begins too. But yeah, you just have to go watch it. It's it's amazing. It is probably the best movie to come out since inception so yeah definitely go watch it it's amazing 
But the gameplay's coming to an end. Do I get Stickman? We'll find out soon. And here I go again with using the variety of weapons. Because I don't know why. The, all these guns, like M4, Scar, like I said in that other commentary, they do really feel different on Xbox. And it's a good thing because I, I actually find them usable. But here I go trying to get Stickman. Miss him by a, like a little bit. And then he kills me. I try to run away. I, I almost do. And then find this guy just staring at the sky. Stick him. Do I get stick man? Uh, yes, I do. It didn't even come up yet. But yeah, see you later.